Welcome to the first ever playoff edition of the One Pride Report as the Detroit Lions prepare for their first playoff game in Ford Field and their first playoff game at home in general since 1993. I think we've talked about this a lot. Here's a look at the divisional playoff schedule right here. and I'm going to give you my picks really quickly. I think that the Jaguars will beat the Ravens. I think that the Bills will beat the Texans and I think the Redskins will beat the Panthers. Now getting into the Lions game prediction, I think the Lions are going to win this game and this is not me being biased but you'll see why in just a second. I'll get into it more but we do have some clips of rookie quarterback Caleb Henderson addressing the media for the first time in a while and he talked about how special it would be for him to potentially win the MVP trophy as a rookie. You know, it, it would mean a lot. Um, you know, to be the first rookie to really ever win the award, it, I mean, it'd be crazy. It's been a crazy year in general. Um, life has changed a lot since I was drafted, and, you know, it just means a lot to put the team in this position. I've been watching the Lions since 2007 and it really means a lot to be able to play in their first home game here at Ford Field. And it's just crazy. It's ridiculous and I'm definitely going to be nervous for the game tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll be nervous but you know I just gotta, gotta, win, gotta go in there, gotta get the job done you know. What you have been seeing on the screen are the stats from Seattle's 42-35 wildcard win over the LA Rams. In a very surprisingly high scoring game, as you'll see in a second, Seattle has the number three defense in the league, yet they let Jarius Wright go off on them, catching like over 150 yards and three touchdowns. That is uh that's not a that's not a good sight for Seahawks fans and they need to be a little bit concerned, especially for their quarterback, Russell Wilson, as the Detroit Lions, as you'll see in a second, the Lions have Russell Wilson's number. In the past two games that Russell Wilson has played against Detroit, his numbers are 22 of 47 for 242 yards, five interceptions, and a fumble. That's right, no touchdown passes at all during this time span. In these past two meetings, no touchdown passes. He has a rushing touchdown, but six combined turnovers, a completion percentage that is well under 50%, only 242 yards combined. It has been very rough for Russell Wilson facing his um old um coordinator in Seattle and Daryl Bevel. Like um Bevel knows all the secrets to the offense. And when you look at the Lions and the Seahawks, they're basically carbon copies of each other, you know? The Lions have a physical imposing defense with a great secondary. Sound a lot like Seattle. They have an undersized quarterback who still finds ways to get the job done. A lot like Seattle. Um, they have a bruising running game, bruising running back, power downhill running scheme, Samaje Pirai, Marshall Lynch slash Thomas Rolf. The Lions are basically the Detroit Seahawks when you think about it. These teams are kind of made for this matchup. They're carbon copies of one another. Looking at Thomas Rawls on the year, he's had a solid season. 1,000 rushing yards, CJ Pro size, chipped in with 508 rushing yards himself. This, um, this Seahawks offense, they're no joke. Although they have looked like a joke the past two times they faced Lions. 10 combined points. The Lions defense does have their number, but I do expect Russell Wilson and the Seahawks offense to come to play. Now getting back into my prediction, as I said earlier, I think that this game is going to be a matter of who can get to 20. And the Detroit Lions are simply a better team at home. We've seen it. They're outscoring opponents on an average of 30 by an average of 31 to 15 at home. They're outscoring opponents by 16 points at home. And this Lions offense, they re they really can get electric at home on the road. They're average, but at home this offense is really good. And at home the defense is even better. Give me the Lions to win this game, 20 to 10. Now, I know this is a very bold prediction, and I do know this is the freaking Lions we're talking about here, a franchise with one playoff win since 1957. Yep, that's right. Um, guys like Mark Sanchez have more playoff wins than the Detroit Lions. But, the Lions are basically a carbon copy of the Seahawks, except they're a better carbon copy. They have a more explosive offense, they have a better defense, the Lions are the better team, especially at home. 
This is a Lions team that outscores opponents 31 to 15 at home. They're going to show up in this game, I think at least. I think they're going to show up in this game. And I have the Lions winning 20 to 10. Now you could call me a homer for this, but I just think that this is a Lions team that will show up. This game means a lot to the franchise. It means a lot to Daryl Bevel as he's facing his own boss and Pete Carroll. This game means a lot for a lot of people. This Lions Seahawks thing is really developing into a rivalry. I'm really hoping for another good defensive classic in this game so that this can this these two teams can really develop into a rivalry. As you can see, this Lions defense tops in basically everything. Yards, pass yards, points allowed. Not in sacks and turnovers though. Look at that. The Seahawks and the Lions are the worst two teams in terms of sacking the quarterback, so Russell Wilson and Caleb Henderson will have all day to throw the football. And now here's a look at some of the players of the week over the past couple of weeks, but man, it's going to be definitely an exciting game. Remember, it's going to be tonight. Yep, it's going to be tonight at 8 o'clock. And I'm definitely very, very excited. And we, we got to go because we got to see the Jaguars take on the Ravens. That game's about to kick off in a second. But again, tonight at 8, you do not want to miss this game. The first playoff game in Ford Field. Can the Detroit Lions get their first playoff win since 1991 and their second one since 1957?